Yeah, that's going to be a problem. That eventually is going to be a problem. This uh, already is a problem. This is the bicycle that I used for doing most of my shopping. And you could say it's my uh, most favorite bicycle at the moment. But as you could have seen, it needs some maintenance. I need to stitch up the panniers, replace the front tire, and uh, replace two spokes, and perhaps do some other stuff. So let's start by taking out the rear wheel. Yep, only these two are broken. And I remember replacing one spoke maybe uh, two years ago, or perhaps it was less. I guess I didn't do a very good job, because now I need to replace two. And at some point, with my fat ass, it's going to be three, and then four, and then maybe five, six. And before you know it, I'm on the floor. Apparently the tire that I installed last year already has some dry rot. But still, it's a lot better than the old tire. That one was uh, bulging and the canvas was showing in multiple locations. Yeah, this, uh, this will still be fine for many years. So difficult. Let go, bastard. This is the way. That's one. And come on. Yeah. That's the other. And now the wheel should. Come out. It's a bit tight between the frame. And there she goes. So next I need to remove uh, the broken spokes. Preferably without damaging the uh, rim tape, but this one is pretty loose. Shouldn't be hard to turn this one out. Got it. The other one is also loose. So now I need to straighten this in order to uh, measure them. Well, let's see if I have some uh, replacement spokes. So I've been searching my hoard of bicycle junk and I think these uh, spokes should work. It's always difficult in a ready build wheel. Um, it needs to go under, under, over, right? Bend it up a bit. And something like that. And of course the other spoke that is broken should go behind this cork, so I'll have to remove this. I find these uh, hooks ideal for removing these uh, nasty circlips. There's our hole. It should go in from this side. Okay, now I'll 
we need to tighten these uh, nipples up. These nipples are very easy to turn. I have no idea what I'm doing. Right, I'll get my truing stand and see how uh, true this wheel turns. I think that looks pretty good. And so far, I have not turned any nibble while the wheel is in the truing stand. Well, I'm not an expert, but to me this feels pretty good. There's not one spoke that is uh, significantly looser. I guess this is just fine. Let's reinstall the wheel. Without a cock, I won't be doing much cycling. I can already see and feel that there is some wear on this uh, relatively new cock. It almost looks like there is some chain stretch. Not sure. Must not be the best quality clock, but it's good enough for now. Good enough for many more kilometers. And I'm not forgetting the chin tensions this time. So let's uh, bring the wheel back to the frame. And now comes the part I really don't like because it involves getting dirty fingers. Unfortunately, the chain is uh, off the front chain ring, so this looks like I'm getting dirtier hands. That's one, and that's the other. Well, at least now I can have a better look at the uh, chain. This chain is pretty dry. I've been frugal with oil, but. I believe that is the way these days. I think it's on there. That chain tensioner bracket is in the way. Yeah, I got it. Now let's loop this thing up. It's empty, always empty. Some cutting oil from my lathe. I'm gonna paint on plenty of oil this time. I'm probably going to regret this the next time. I need to take out the wheel. So nice and greasy the way it's supposed to be. Let's continue closing up this uh, patient so I can go to the shop again. So I'm back from lunch 
that's why my hands are now all clean but let's finish this and make them dirty again yeah. back it off just a bit because I still need to tension the chain lining up the wheel in the center of the frame that's going to stick to the oily chain that's pretty good let's tighten things up I think that's fine so let's close up the grease trap. Let's move on to the front wheel and replace that questionable tire. This here is the worst spot in the uh, sidewall. And that's pretty good by my uh, low standards. But let's replace this thing anyway. Yeah, that air stinks. Now the wheel should be free. Let's replace the tire. Here's the uh, replacement tire that I'm going to use. And this comes from a bicycle that I scrapped. I don't need the inner tube. Because maybe it's leaking and the one from my old uh, wheel definitely is not. I'm going to quickly swap this around but I'm not going to film all that because this boring video is probably already way too long. So I managed to swap out a tire, but look at this thing, there is no air. It's terribly stiff. Hard as a rock. Hopefully it can live up to its name. So next I need to stitch up my broken pair of uh, panniers. And for this I'm not going to use a needle and a thread. That's too girly for me. I'm going to use a needle and some tie wraps. Hey, I would have used duct tape if I thought that might have worked. So this is not going to work. And I'm afraid I will poke into my fingers. So let's try something else. A block of wood to protect my hand and fingers well, that was easier than I thought there's actually also a piece of cardboard in here as you can see I ended up drilling five holes for five tie wraps so let's wrap this up not sure how long this is going to hold but maybe a year but I will definitely start searching for a new pair of panniers when I'm at the uh, local. Okay, local flea market. Almost brand new. I like this repair. Hopefully, it's going to hold. So, as good as new, and I don't think anyone will ever notice, and my uh, groceries should stay in the bag. This, uh, this damage here was done by our cat. He's pretty harmless, but sometimes he likes to sharpen his paws on my panniers.
but I prefer him sleeping on the panniers instead of destroying them. Now the last thing I need to do is replace the uh, kickstand. I believe I uh, mentioned it before, but I like this type of uh, solid aluminium kickstand. It might be the best ever. Even though I like this thing a lot, I am still going to replace it with something that might work out even better. And this here is what I'm going to replace the aluminium kickstand with. It's a uh, duo kickstand. Not sure if that's the proper name. But I'm hoping this thing will keep the bicycle upright when there is stuff in the uh, panniers. These bolts can get rather stuck in the uh, aluminium. Alright, let's put the bicycle upside down. I think it should sit like this. Well, I first need to flatten this base plate. I probably need a bigger hammer for this. It was good enough for me. Originally, this is not was welded to the frame of the kickstand. Well, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. And of course, my socket gets stuck. It's probably pinched by the frame of the uh, kickstand. Let's hope for the best because that bolt isn't very long. Well, let's flip the bicycle one more time. While the front wheel comes off the ground and uh, turns backwards, I think I better go buy a bag of potatoes and test out the balance. So I went out and bought some potatoes locally. You should really buy uh, local produce if you can. And this dual kickstand seems to work just fine. Even with a bag of potatoes in one side of the uh, panniers, it feels rock solid. When using the kickstand, the front wheel has the uh, tendency to turn. And that can uh, mess with my headlight if it goes too far. My repair survived the bag of potatoes. No problem. Well, that's it for the shit show. And later this year, I'm going to burn that pile of uh, brush. It's going to be hot. Like, subscribe, yada yada yada. You know what to do. And to be continued.